Hayab's business performance was good in 2021. The order intake exceeded the previous record level by 31%, leading to the order book almost doubling from the previous year. Hayab's sales increased by 14% and its comparable operating profit was 166 million euros, a 29% increase from 2020. And I think the performance was on quite a, a good level. We've been able to uh, nicely deliver um, good level of profitability uh, on the sales growth. So that's nice. We made great progress towards uh, our strategic ambition and executing against the strategic plan, uh, all of which was uh, made possible uh, through the great uh, uh, HIAB colleagues that we have, the colleagues that we have that support us in Cargo Tech, and, uh, and especially uh, our wonderful customers who've supported us through what still was quite a challenging year, deep coping both with the pandemic um, throughout the year and at the same time, of course, dealing with uh, the many challenges that our business as well as all others uh, agnostic of industry coped with in 2021. Hayab's service division continued to execute on its strategy to deliver profitable growth through delivering the industry best customer experience. Hayab's service sales increased by 10% to 351 million euros, constituting 28% of total Hayab sales. We're up to over 20,000 connected units returning insights that are enabling us to engage uh, in ways we haven't been able to do before with customers, help improve their safety, sustainability and productivity outcomes. Most of Hayab's equipment divisions experienced record levels of order intake. As an example, demountables, forestry and recycling cranes, and heavy and super heavy loader crane divisions were able to manage the supply chain challenges by also delivering record levels of sales. All the way around, I'd say the contribution came from all, part, all parts of the, uh, of the HIAB portfolio, which is nice to see. One of HIAB's demand drivers is the construction activity, which increased in HIAB's strongest markets, in Europe and in the US. Hayab's market environment remained exceptionally competitive and challenging. In response to that, um, we were proactive in terms of catalyzing growth for ourselves both organically and inorganically. On the inorganic side, we were successful in uh, executing on three acquisitions, two of which in expanded our channels, which will help expand our services business, and then one of which was um, a uh, demountables manufacturer in the U.S., Golfab. Hayab continued to invest in creating organic growth by introducing 18 new equipment and service solutions. As a consequence of some of the product launches, Hayab won awards in Europe both for sustainability as well as for innovation. Most all, if, if not all, of our uh, new product introductions that I talked about earlier have um, been focused and targeted on key segments and applications where we could design fit-for-purpose solutions that will enable differentiated safety, sustainability, and productivity outcomes for our customers. And those have been amongst some of our most successful uh, new product introductions in the history of HIAB. So really proud of the way that we um, proactively leaned into the market environment and set ourselves up to create um, incremental future growth as well. We have um, either introduced or have a line aside to be able to introduce um, a full complete lineup of um, alternatively powered equipment that will enable the, either the significant reduction or elimination of uh, emissions, which we're quite proud of. And at the same time, uh, we've entered into a cooperative agreement with uh, a major steel supplier to help develop um, and, and fast track um, fossil free uh, steel, um, for example, which is one of the biggest sources of carbon in our entire footprint. So really excited about that. Our customers recognize um, our efforts to lead the way to achieve our um, ambitions around the science-based targets and as a consequence uh, are excited to partner with us to that end.